Hi, in this video, we will be talking about IP address management. And Splinx has uh, IPv4 and IPv6 management. So we will start with IPv4. As uh, we can see there in our topology, IP addresses are used almost everywhere for backbone links, for wireless links, for servers, for routing and uh, switching equipment, and also for end users. And we need to track all this data in one single place. And Splinks is a great option to do this. In IPv4, we will talk about static and dynamic assignments, frame road radio set attribute, and uh, in general, how to manage IP addresses in Splinks. And in IPv6, I will explain how to make sub-networking and I have a separate uh, video for that. Let's start with IPv4. Splink supports three types of assignments. So the first one you can uh, statically or permanently add IP address and give it to customer. Uh, the second type is that you can assign dynamically from certain pool or from uh, any pool that you have available. And the third option is um, that router can assign his IP addresses based on his local configuration and pools. And then we have uh, one more option that allows you to add uh, the um, network, not only one single IP to customer, but uh, the whole network. And then this network is routed and everything is uh, done using radius protocol. So let's take a look on the configuration. Uh, this is my customer. He has one IP address assigned there. And uh, first of all, let's open IP address management, IPv4 networks we have there, IPv6 networks there. And under IPv4 networks, we have four networks that I'm using for testing. Okay, so this one is PPP pool. This is one I use for DHCP pool. And uh, this network I will remove for now. And then I will show how to use it. Or I have, okay, I have some IP used. So let's leave it. I just want to explain how this network will be used later. Okay. If I click there, it shows me the usage of IP addresses in the PPPoE pool. Three IPs are used. I can use and block, for example, this IP, say that it is a gateway, and I put it use, and host category can be whatever, layer like three device. So it means that this IP will not be assigned to customers. You cannot choose it from the selection, and also it will not be assigned dynamically uh, using the HCP or PPPoE dynamic. Uh, IP assignments. So when this is done, when we have added all our networks, I can open my customer. Let's go to this customer that I have connection, PPPoE. And uh, on the service, I select his service. I scroll down where I have his selection. And there is the method of assignment is now that he has this IP address statically added there. So I can give him other static IP, for example, 52. So it gives me, as you can see, for example, if I type one, it shows me that there is no IP found because it's, it's, it's used, is busy. So I will give him three, save the button, and now it will reconnect my PPPoE session. And this is his IP. You can see that my router was uh, connected on different IP and now it has uh, this IP that we changed. Uh, so the second option that we have, because we need to refresh because I lost my connection. Um, the second option is dynamic IP. Dynamic IP is very straightforward to configure. I can select any pool or dedicated pool for this usage and for this service. In my case, it's PPPoE, so I want only PPP pool to be used. And I click button save. And what's, what happens is that my router again now is reconnecting and it has a different IP. So now IP is um, given automatically or dynamically and single different IP will be added to this customer when he reconnects. Um, where I can find this data, as you can see there, there is no IP address available anymore because it's dynamically assigned, but under my online clients, I can find that this customer has this IP at the moment. So this one is my customer and uh, this is his uh, IP address and MAC address. Um, and the last option that I wanted to show you and has a relation to the network that uh, I mentioned before is when you don't want to use Splinks to assign IP address inside uh, the DHCP or PPPoE session, what you can do, you can just select 
a router will take care of it. So when I say router will take care of it, I also must configure inside my router configuration. So this is my PPPoE server. Inside my router configuration, I need to set up that my profile will use here the default remote address pool. Okay, so this must be enabled. If I will not enable it, it will give me the error that remote address cannot be, cannot be configured and the session will not be established. So, but I have IP pool and this IP pool that I put is 210, okay? So if I do not add this network to Splinks, I will, have, I will not have it under IP address management. So if I go there to IPv4 networks, and you see that I have added this network there and one IP is used currently. So I can scroll down and find out who is using it. So there is a one customer using this IP. Uh, so that if I will not have this IPs there, nothing happens. Customer will be authenticated because Splinks is not in charge for IP assignments, but you will not get statistics. So if you don't want to do this, uh, if you want to have statistics and if you want to have your, I mean, understanding who is using what IP. So please add this network to Splinks. So now when I have this setup, I go back to my client and uh, I will save his settings to none. Router will assign IP address. I save button, I click it, pause. And here under my router, when he will reconnect the session, he will get the new IP address that is not, uh, that is from pool, I think 200. So what is my PPPoE? And if I reconnect my session and reestablish it, let's go to IP addresses. I still get the same IP. What's the story? Because probably it was not changed there. Let's go there. So my PPPoE server use, uses the default profile. If I go to my remote pool, pool one and IP pools, pool one is 210 to 220. Okay. Let's go there. IP address, reconnect PPPoE. Let's check again there. Yeah, I think because I'm still reconnecting my, my service, I lost my connection to Splinks and it didn't save my settings. Yes, exactly what's, this is what's happening. So let's go back to wire, to the customer, change his service. And yeah, that was not, so this is what I need to save. Now it is saved and you can see that I got the IP 199. So this is uh, the third option. And what I wanted to mention is uh, how we can add more than one single IP to customer. We can route him a network. So imagine that you have a customer like me. So I have a PPPoE server is this one. So you can see this device is used as a PPPoE server. And this second device is my router where I can route um, slash 29 network, for example. So how to do this, what I can do is let's go back to my permanent assignments. Let's assign some IP address or first available IP for it. Let's say here from the PPP pool. I think I'm again reconnected. Yes, exactly. So I will just make a permanent pool and the first available IP. And so now I have my permanent IP, but this doesn't matter. I can do it on dynamic as well. What is the most important part, what I want to show you is that I can use here and I can assign to customer a network. So I can give him slash 29 from this pool or from the test pool. So from the test pool, it shows me the list and I can give him this, this network. When I give him and allocate him this network, then uh, this, network will be added in the PPPoE session. So here, let me do this again, because I again lost my connection with all these reconnections. And now let's, let's add the IP address, let's save it. 
as you can see, if I go to my IP routes there, that the one thing that I have is the IP address that is uh, statically or dynamically configured on the interface. And the second one is my network, this one 10.05.32.29. This is routed from my DHCP or from my PPPoE server to my, to my customer, uh, customer CP router. So this is, uh, so here it is routed and here I can configure my IP addresses and I can add this network to the interface this one and use this IP address and use this network. So it can be, it can be, or it should be public IP, usually when customer requires that. So this is the way how you can use it in Springs. And of course, when customer connects from this IP, it will be shown you and this IP will be, will be linked to this client. So if I go to my networking and IPv4 network, I will open this network. You can see that there are eight IPs used. And if I scroll down, this is exactly what it's showing me that the customer number three is using these IPs because it was routed to him. So Splinks has this uh, smart IP address management and I recommend you to use it. And we will tackle IPv6 management in the next video. Thank you for your time.